Alright, this is going to be a little how-to to, to uh, let everyone know how I installed Lion on my Intel Core Duo processor 17-inch 2006 MacBook Pro. Uh, it's actually very easy. And uh, the first step should be to download a physical copy of Lion. Uh, it is a little bit of a different copy of Lion uh, in that someone uh, has actually adjusted it to work on the machine that you're going to be putting it on. Um, as the website says here, actually, uh, this is a revised copy of Lion that will now work on your Intel Core Duo or Core Solo Mac uh, with this hack. Um, so the website you need to go to is roaringcore.wordpress.com roaringcore.wordpress.com and I can put that in the notes uh, here on YouTube as well. Uh, so that's the website you're going to go to and all you need to do is really click download. Uh, I've already downloaded it because it takes or it took about 45 minutes with my internet connection of course. I'm not going to let you guys wait 45 minutes just to watch me download mine. So I've already downloaded it and uh, the download what that gives you is it gives you a zipped folder um, in which I've already unzipped uh, it'll come down as roaringcore.zip uh, once you unzip it it's got a readme uh, rich, uh, rich text format file inside of it and a sparse image which you're going to be using uh, an application that will also come in the zipped file called uh, carbon copy cloner uh, Carbon Copy Cloner is going to be taking the sparse image that you see there that I have highlighted and it's going to be uh, putting it onto a partition of the hard drive that we're going to do and that's going to be our next step here. Um, so in the readme.richtext format fi uh, file that you see in the zip folder after you download uh, there is going to be pretty decent instructions on how to do this step by step. Um, so you can always not watch my video and do that too, but you know some people are visual. All right, so I've already got Disk Utility open up here just to show you from step one how it works. I have already uh, done this entire thing just to make sure it does work, um, and I decided to restore from backup and do it again for video purposes. All right, so we're going to partition the hard drive here. Uh, I don't want to keep them even. I do. I'm going to keep one partition with Snow Leopard on it. Uh, just because of some app incompatibilities um, and stability, maybe at a later date. But I'm going to rename this Lion and click Apply. Now, if you've ever partitioned before, um, you probably know what Disk Utility does. Uh, if not, what it's doing is basically it's it's uh, making your internal hard drive in your computer into two different sections so that you can actually install a different operating system on each section or you name it. There's a lot of possibilities with different partitions. So sometimes this takes a minute, as you can see. Maybe I should have done this before too. All right, well, we'll check back in just a second. All right, so we're back here, and my partition's just finished. It took about three, four minutes. Uh, not too bad, but uh, it has just finished. So like I was saying, I partitioned my internal hard drive into two separate parts. I'm going to keep one side of it with Snow Leopard. I'm going to put mine on the other side. Uh, that is what I'd probably recommend since, one, this is the first release of Lion, uh, and it's, you know, I, I, I just do a partition. It's not that big of a deal and it really saves you. And of course, uh, always make sure you have a backup of uh, everything before you would actually do this too. So, couldn't quit out of Disk Utility. And just to confirm for you guys that this is the computer that I'm putting it on, uh, we'll go up to about my Mac. Right now, I am running the latest version of Snow Leopard on a 2.16 GHz Intel Core Duo processor. And Lion requires, via Apple, an Intel Core 2 Duo uh, Intel processor. Uh, I only have 2 gigs of RAM. Right now I only have Snow Leopard. All right, so what we're going to do now, the second step after you partition the hard drive, 
is to go into Carbon Copy Cloner. Carbon Copy Cloner, as I was saying, is going to be packaged into that zip file that you'll download from the internet. Um, now what you're going to do is you're going to go up to Source and you want to pick the partition of hard drive that you want to install Lion onto. Well, I creatively named mine Lion here. Uh, and the destination, oh no, I'm sorry, I got these switched up. Here you actually want to pick the sparse image. Um, so here you're going to restore from disk image. And then you're going to navigate to your downloads folder where the sparse image will be downloaded into the Warren Co folder, and here's the sparse image. Okay, it's about 812 gigabytes. Click OK there, and you'll notice all the information about the sparse bundle will come in here after Carbon Copy Cloner thinks about it. Just to be clear, I made a quick mistake there. I started picking my hard drive as the source. The source is the sparse bundle image, um, and the, the destination is going to be my Atom Lion hard drive partition. So after this figures itself out here, we'll change the destination. <coughs> you can clearly see it's a scratched up but still functional 17 inch MacBook Pro from 2006. Alright, so it thought about it here and it got finished um, uploading the Lion Sparse Bundle. Uh, one other thing you want to change in the options right here is backup everything. Okay, the destination is going to be Adam Lion, like I mentioned. Leave these as uh, our, our previously highlighted, highlighted, it should be highlighted with maintain a backup, archive, modified, and deleted files. Just leave that. And then you're going to click clone. It's going to prompt you, and it's going to say, alright, we're putting OS X Lion onto this partition. And you're of course going to type in your password. So that's going to partition, or that's going to install Lion on the partition of my hard drive. Um, last time I did this, it took about 20 to 25 minutes. Um, so I'm going to let it do its thing, and I'll check in back with you in a minute. All right, so we are back, and uh, Carbon Copy Cloner has completed its uh, backup task and putting Lion onto the partition that I've created. This is what it will say. Uh, it actually took less than 20 minutes, 17 minutes and 37 seconds. So that's all set. Uh, go ahead and click OK and then you can quit out of Carbon Copy Cloner. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is restart my computer. And when you do that, you're going to hold down Option so that you can boot into the partition of uh, uh, the Lion partition that you actually made. So go ahead and click Restart. And if it prompts you, click restart. And I'm going to hold down option. It should prompt us to either, there it goes. So it prompted us to either boot into Snow Leopard or Lion and of course we want to boot into Lion this time. Once those hard drives pop up by the way you can let go of the option key. Just make sure you're holding down the option key before you actually restart the computer. Alright so it's gonna take a minute since uh, it's the first time that you're gonna boot into Lion. Uh, now you won't be booting into a clean install of Lion. The only way that we could get this to work is the person that made the Lion disk uh, had to install it on their computer and they make a sparse bundle of that install. Uh, so that individual, his name is actually Tyler. Uh, you might see instances of his name in the system preferences. You can just erase it and you can put 
uh, your name in there or whatever kind of uh, ID you want to put in there. Um, so that's it. Alright, so it's going to boot up. And last time I booted it, it had just a white background. And looks like it's going to do the same thing this time. And there we are. So here's our first evidence that this is lying. We've got, when you have it, let me roll my thing over it, Launchpad. Okay, so we've got Launchpad, iTunes of course, the new mail icon. Uh, that's, you know, an indication this is lying. Safari icon, that's indication. FaceTime is now pre-installed on my computer. And those are the only immediate things, or the immediate ways that you would know that this is a copy of Lion. Um, we think, except, with the exception of uh, those icons, you see something on the desktop as well. This says intro.pdf. So when we open this up, it's uh, it was something that's actually really nice that was written uh, by Tyler. That, by the way, Tyler is the guy that did this. Um, so, Tyler, read up this PDF and put it together just if you have some questions. It says, Welcome to Mac OS X Lion on your 32 bit Mac. So, it gives you a little intro of how the things work uh, and to answer some immediate questions. No, the, ge the gestures do not work uh, without the use of a magic mouse or a magic trackpad. Uh, they're 79 bucks at Apple. It's I think it's well worth it. It's a huge part of Lion, the gestures. So I recommend giving it a try. Uh, now he says a few th few things about the pages uh, and, and how to get it set up. The pages here just go down to paragraphs. Uh, for instance, setting up your account, he mentions uh, go into system preferences and change the user groups, uh, change the password from the default password to make it your own. Um, in the page 3 paragraph here, he says third-party apps don't uh, update your third-party apps unless uh, he releases another one or he releases uh, either third-party apps or another install or updated version of Lion on his website. Uh, the next one is about iTunes. He goes on to mention that iTunes is actually designed to break all of the beta builds of Lion. So if you update iTunes it will theoretically break the version of Lion that you just installed. Uh, page 5 just mentions FaceTime which is working and it's included for free and page 6 is about how the gestures don't work and how you can get them to work so just to confirm for you guys I want to go up to the Apple logo here about this Mac and that is a beautiful thing I've got version 10.7 which is considered line on my 2.16 gigahertz Intel Core Duo processor with 2 gigs of RAM. Put it on the partition called Atom Lion. And there you have it. So that is Lion installed on your unsupported, out of the box Apple uh, old MacBook Pro.